What's happening, Matt? This is crazy. Hurry! We're short on the beer. It's just like Deadliest Catch. What are we gonna do? Well, I'm gonna wear some pants. AJ doesn't <laughs> have any pants on. Welcome back to the Happy Hour, guys, and welcome to Marquette, Michigan. Yes, we are back at the corner of 3rd and Michigan at the Black Rocks Brewing Company. We visited them a year ago, and they were just getting started. Well, in the last year, man, they have blown up. They're doing some amazing stuff. Let's go find out what. We are back with David Manson, Andy Langlois. The last time we were here a year ago, there was no beer. And now, look, now there's beer. To a fantastic year. Cheers. Yes, things have changed incredibly at Black Rocks over the last year. They have more than doubled their capacity. They've become a true cornerstone of their community. And these are things that we see all over with craft breweries. But there are a whole bunch of things that absolutely make Black Rocks stand out. And it all starts with one word. Brewocracy. Brewocracy. It's something we always wanted to try and get off the ground from the beginning. And that's really just allowing people to be, you know, constituents and voters and in, in what we decide to brew. What do you like best about Black Rocks Brewing Company? The unique beers. I love that it's locally owned. I love that my mug is right there. It's local, it's delicious, it's nutritious. What's not to love? Or what we decide to, you saw the board, people can have a, a hand in naming beers. I had a hand in naming a beer, by the way. It feels like a game show to me right now. It's like, create your beer, go! I have never seen a place that has as many recipes as you guys do. You brew, more beers than we've ever seen. How do you do that and still make it work here with your consumers? They've encouraged us. I mean, they've really kind of pushed us along. Do you have any place for like a suggestion box? Do people like give you ideas? We do actually. The first section is stuff that we've had on before. And then we also give them the opportunity to kind of vote or suggest different types of beers or different names for beer. Andy, come here a second. Let's figure out right here, right here and now. Night, it's my night off. We're just spitballing here. I think that the Goggle Blaster would be great if you just put enough hops in the beer. It's more, more Cowbell. I just made up a beer name. I think you guys, I am suggesting a beer called More Cowbell. It's Jimmy Ludwig's More Cowbell, and it's an IBA, we think. So Black Rocks is going to be a fixture in Marquette for many moons to come. At the moment, they're brewing nearly 150 different recipes, and that list keeps growing. Their mug club has over 600 different members, and the place only holds about 50 at a time. They don't have a kitchen, but you can order food right to the front door, order the new beer garden that went in this summer out to the side, and they also have great live music nights. So all those things would put any brewery high on our list, but Black Rocks is a little more special because they involve the community in pretty much every single step of the way, including something they do every night when they close the tap room. It's kind of been a tradition, every night that we've been open and we close about you know, 15 minutes beforehand, we uh, play a little shine on you, Crazy Diamond. It means it's last call. People get to sit back and enjoy it. There you go. Our Black Rocks family, to you and your family, hopes that 2012 is not only a good year, but a happy year and one that's full of good beer. I just improv that mother Wherever your year takes you, I hope it's fun. I hope it comes back here at some point. We love seeing you. Did you not get a beer yet? Give this man a beer! Jesus crumpets! Now it feels right. As always, thank you for your support. Thank you for your input. Thank you for your suggestions. I hope you feel like we listen to you. You keep drinking it. We'll keep brewing it. Here's to you. Jesus! May I say, I just want to add in my vote that no matter how big you guys get, I hope you never, ever stop doing that. Oh, it's a beautiful place. Kind of like a coffee shop with beer. This is a nano brewery that is struggling just to keep beer on the table, which is a really good problem to have if you're a nano brewery. This is a great Chipotle stout, by the way. Mm. And, uh, nice dark. Thank you for the uh, the lovely Christmas gift. Uh, you are welcome. You know, it snows up here in Marquette, and sometimes it's good to, uh, to have a little insulation on your head. What do you think, guys? <laughs> yeah, man, that's some good stuff right there. How's it look? Oh, yeah. I'll add one more toast. Here, Keep your heads warm, people. You know what I'm talking about. We have a consensus that uh, more cowbell will be a brown ale of some kind. Oh, it'll definitely be a brown ale. Yeah. How about an India brown ale? We could do that. 